Ladies and gentlemen, eight-year NBA vet for the Orlando Magic before the quarantine. He was averaging 15 points per game. We're talking potential sixth man of the year. Woo! From the bubble, the host of the T-Ross podcast, ladies and gentlemen, Terrence Ross. Yeah! 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 Woo! Woo! What's going on? Hey, you are not Pierre Maguire. That's 100% <laughs> right. Oh, I was like, uh, I was like, I might not be going to show that. <laughs> <laughs> How is the how is the bubble down there? By the way, thanks for joining us. I know you're okay, incredibly busy down there. The podcast from the bubble, brilliant idea. I hope it crushes and does yeah. very well. How, how is life down there? And now the games are getting started. How do you imagine anything will change? Man, it's like Hedgehog Day, bro. It's been like the same day over and over <laughs> and over again. Groundhog, groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog, hedgehog? Groundhog Day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Groundhog Day. Anyway. No, it's been the same day over and over, man. Um, it's not really much to do besides, uh, you know, sleep, go work out, practice. But um, I mean, we're kind of just grinding it out, man. It's not really much. To do. It's like a, it's like a big fat AU tournament. That's what just ooh, NBA players. That's how everybody has kind of described it. And they're the first couple days. And I we talked about this on this show. There was like some activities, you know. There was golfing. There was fishing. There was shotgunning of beers. And I was like, I wonder how long this is going to last. And it yeah, sounds like yeah. that has died off. So quick, like, <laughs> <laughs> like right after all that happened, like people tried doing it the second day. And now it's just kind of like lost. It's a uh, lost it's still, but like the fish have all gone. <laughs> uh, I mean, people are going by the pool, like, but it's crazy because the pool is like four foot, like, so everybody's like, it just reaches like their thighs. Like, I seen uh, the, that was that big giant dude from um, the Dallas, Boban, Boban. Don, or uh, yeah. whatever his name is, big tall giant dude. He he's always in the pool, but he's like literally up to like his kneecaps. So it's just like <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing in there. But I don't know, man. It's, get, it's getting it's getting pretty boring. Thank God that we're playing, but I don't know. It's it. It's just it's a weird time. Okay, so you guys are currently the eight seed, which is a very, very highly contentious spot, obviously. In the east yeah, yeah. in the east there's only nine teams there, so only one team can kind of get there, but who knows what'll happen with all eight games. How's the squad feel? How have the practices been? Is there like a lot of times for just your team to be in there and then other teams cycle in? How has been that whole process? Yeah, man, um this A spot, it's a it's a race right now because it's it's different too. Like even if you're like the ninth or eighth, you have to it's like you have to play in almost. So it's like it's it's really janky. So we're trying to get to like uh, the seventh or sixth spot so we can kind of avoid all that. So I mean we're feeling good right now. You know the team's getting back in rhythm. I mean we do have practice. We have practices like pretty much every day, but they're they're different times. So you know sometimes we might have practices at eight a.m. for two days and then. For the next three days, we might have practice at 7 p.m. So, like, it's it's just a weird timing, and it kind of throws your your, your schedule off. But uh, it's it's you, it takes a little getting used to. But we're pretty much used to it now. Okay, so what they kept saying that it's a shooter's court, the uh, the court yeah. that you guys are going to be playing on. And why is it a shooter's court? Because you could potentially light it up. Is this going to really is this going to yeah. really help teams that have snipers? No, for sure, man. Like, so usually, let's say, for instance, when you play in like Staples Center, that the, the depth perception from the basket to, like, the stands and to where you're at, like, it kind of throws you off. So it kind of, like, makes the, the hoop look a little further back. And it kind of, you know, mess with your shot. But, like, when you're in, a, like, a small environment, you feel like you can pull up from anywhere. So, like, I'm seeing guys already, like, going six for eight from three. Duncan Robinson's getting hot. Uh, seeing Seth Curry out there balling. So it, this is, like, a gym where you're going to see guys probably shoot lights out because I'm feeling good in the gym. Like, it feels – it feels like a, like a high school gym. So, you know, when you go to a high school gym, you feel like you can pull up from anywhere. So, that, that's what it feels like. It feels like the court's a little bit smaller. Uh, oh. I don't know. It just has that good feel. So, it's going to get good. It's going to get good. So, you're saying bet the overs. Obviously, you can't help us <laughs> with gambling. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't help us with gambling, obviously. Yeah. You can't. Note to self. But what I just gathered, note to self from us – it feels like the overs are going to get very, very hot. J.J. Redick looks like Duke J.J. Redick on these videos that are yeah. pulling out there. He looks like man, little everybody. Duke. Yeah, he does. Everybody. It's easy, man. I'm telling you, it's a good feeling. Like, you don't get that You don't get that feel in most of these giant arenas that you play in. So, you know, I feel like 
it's it could be it could be fun basketball for everybody. Okay, so let's talk about that court though. How it does look like it's a, a it looks like a workout gym that you guys do in the off season because every once in a while those games you guys run will pop up on the internet and it's insane yeah. thinking about me potentially walking into an LA Fitness and just being <laughs> my ass run right off the court by NBA yeah. guys. But how is the setup from like a production standpoint? It looks like a stage with all those lights up there and all the cameras. What have you guys been told about playing? Like, hey, try not to swear. There's going to be cameras here. Have you been told about any of that? They pretty much don't give a shit what we say. They haven't said anything to us about that. Perfect. Thank God. Uh, we will hear something like a, about what you it's just like said. It's, it's a giant stage. Like, um, from what you guys are seeing, like, they have that camera. Kind of like in football. You know, they have that camera that kind of, like, goes, like, the length of the field. Like, we have that on the side. Um, we have, like, this giant – we have, like, j screens everywhere. So, like, when you're looking, it just looks like – you know, we're in a on a you know theoretical stage type shit because it's just cameras and lights everywhere. Uh, but it's weird because as soon as you walk out like of that court, you're automatically on another practice court. So it's just like oh. every setup is different. I think they have like four or five uh, or three or four like different like gym locations. But for the most part, like they're they're pretty much like a stage, and once you leave that stage, you're pretty much on other courts. So it's weird, man. You can hear other guys like in the background shooting on the practice courts and I don't know it feels like a giant AU stage I don't know are you are you guys scared of another team's fan base popping up on that zoom <laughs> <laughs> not not right now at least uh they I gotta mean, figure that out T Ross they have got to figure that wild, out right yes it is wild so they're telling us right now that you know those people are usually going to be like fan or uh, they're going to usually like uh be you know pretty much close friends or family oh. so uh oh, okay. each family member is going to have like their own seat um, there's, I think they said something about there might be a camera that's like looking at us, so like we might be able to interact with like our family back home. But Ooh, um, really, cool. I, I think yeah, it's it's they're they're hooking it up, man. Zoom is like really trying to take care of it, so uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. I don't know, I mean, it's we're gonna see how it goes. The game starts tonight, so we'll see. It'll be glitchy and stuff for your family, but it'll at least get the view. That's what <laughs> Zoom's known for. Um, <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> how has Adam Silver been through this? Does Is he down there? Do you guys hear from him daily? Is there like an email that you get? <laughs> no, okay, good. I haven't fucking seen him. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen anybody, man. I've seen a few guys. Uh, but I don't know, man. I, I'm, you know, I, I think a, a few guys might be out of the boat for all I know. Okay, so. let's talk about that. Because that yeah. became big news. Obviously, there was a potential thought chopper that was coming in. Uh, there was a chance that uh, guys were trying to go to Postmates or DoorDash. How, was after that whole thing came out, right? I don't know who who exposed yeah. the story or how it came out, but was there a group meeting? Like, hey, team, listen. Although they don't have like because Adam Silver said we're not calling it a bubble because it's not a bubble. It's an area that's secluded away. Whatever is is there a conversation I was had like, hey, we can't be doing this because if we want this league to pop off and if we want this tournament to to go, which is going to be awesome content for everybody, we have to be able to lock this thing down. Has there been that conversation? Uh, yeah. When, when you first get to the bubble, they kind of tell you like the the guidelines. You know what you're allowed to do, where you're allowed to go. Um. Just to even like leave our room, we have uh, we have like these little Bluetooth like thermometers and whatever this is, whatever this is. <laughs> take your pulse, whatever I don't know. But you have to do that every day, and we have like an app that we have to answer this questionnaire. And if you don't, we have these little magic bands that pretty much allow you to go from place to place. You have to scan it every single time you go to like a different building. You have to scan it, and if it doesn't pop up green, that means they get flagged down. They take you somewhere else. You gotta like do all this other questions, take you know tests, whatever. So it's it's a, it's like they're really on high alert about everything we do. So I mean, I feel like we're safe, but it's it's a lot of work sometimes. Like even later, I have to go get you know another test every day. We gotta get a test. So down your nose. Uh, yeah, man, and throat. How is the oh. nose one? I've heard horror stories. It, it, it's not bad, man. For us, like, we're doing it every day. So, like, for us now, it's like just like a quick little swab on the inside. So, it's not too bad. Like, the first couple of days were a little rough. But um, after that, we were pretty much good. d Ross, you talked about seeing Boban in the pool every day. How much interaction yeah. is there between, like, teams off of the court? Like, are you guys hanging out together all the time? Or is that not allowed? No. So, I mean, for the most part, we, we can kick it with whoever. Um there's we all are staying in different hotels like on this property we have i think maybe three or four hotels and there's like the rockets there's the mavs the nets us and i think like the sixers and the pacers so like you see guys all the time you got you see guys walking around especially like when you get ready to go to practice you guys see you know everybody meet up at the buses um 
you, yeah, you, we see guys on boats. We're allowed to drive boats, which oh, is cool. But cool. I mean, with the boats, like literally go three miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's hard to even get a breeze. But you're on a canoe. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, but you guys see, we see people doing that, and um, for the most part, like we all know each other. So it's that's the other good thing. Like it's we know everybody for the most part, so it's not anything. Nothing's awkward. So. Uh, I don't know. It's been fun, but I mean, man, just we've been here for a while, and it's kind of getting played out. Yeah, I could fathom. <laughs> I could fathom that. Wow. Um, what do you do in your room? You a gamer? Do you play cards, dominoes? Where we go? Oh, got? big guy! I got my gaming chair right oh, here. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. I got my uh, my whole little setup right here. I got my PlayStation. I got you know my my PC is not set up right now, but I got everything. So I'm in here all the time, gaming, uh, sleeping. Hanging out with my teammates. So that's the other good thing. Like, we're all in one room. Like, all in one, like, section of the, the hotel. So, you know, most of the time we're going through, you know, one to the other room, playing dominoes, playing cards, playing video games. So, staying active. T. Ross, how's the food been? Is that getting really old yet? Or have they mixed it up enough where, like, it's actually been decent? I'm just going to let y'all check it out, man. <laughs> I, got the, I, got, I got the menu right here. Oh! Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, Main lobster? Yeah. Got some main lobster up there, a little, little jumbo cocktail, Ooh. bacon, cheddar, yeah. Angus beef, okay. chefs. That feels like a it's a good hotel's 24-7 room service menu right there. Yeah, if it was 24-7, yeah, we can't we can't order till 5 o'clock. Oh! oh yeah. You got to prepare. Twist. You got to prepare. Yeah, so I, I got I got some snacks. I got a little <laughs> something, something to hold me over. But, I mean, from – uh, we can't really do much. Uh, we can go down to, like, that main hub to order, like, to get the food that they give us. But it's, like, lunch food that you get at, like, high school. So it's not bad. But it's just sometimes you're, like, you just want to eat more. And you just – it's hard to do that sometimes until, like, 5 o'clock. You – hey, listen. Everybody says they're getting paid to do this. They're lucky yeah. to do this. But when you think about the human side of that, I would I would be running through a wall in there if I if I'm, I, I'm like, look, like I'm not ungrateful. Yes, I have food. I'm so happy. It was like, but I mean, but still, like, like <laughs> you go here, like, and they're charging us so much for this. Like, I know somebody got charged for a six pack of Pepsi's. $26. Whoa! They're taking Dude. advantage because there's no other option. That's a monopoly! That is a monopoly! The players have to pay for that? The players have to pay for what? Snacks and stuff? Room service. You have to pay for oh. room service. You have to pay for, the like, you know, anything that you order, the food wow. that you get delivered in. Like, yeah, you gotta pay for it. I'm thinking it's like, oh yeah, it's on the house. No, no, no. no. If you want this That's cool. little coffee that we have in here, it's 40 bucks per day. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow. laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you got. I'm Amazon and things to the house, man. <laughs> so, are you allowed to receive shipments? How does that? Does it have to go through somebody oh, sure. to get to you? So, we're allowed to receive stuff, but we have to send it to a, a certain, you know, address or whatever, and then deliver it to our rooms for whatever reason. But yeah, we, we can get packages. Hey, it's we're gonna we're gonna send you snacks for sure. We're, we're, send me anything, candy. Just send me a ton of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Jr. Smith's not gonna be happy about that. What do you got, Connor? Terrence, how has the uh, barber shop been utilized uh, down there? Oh, as, as soon as the barber showed up, everybody started getting new hairstyles. I think four guys on my team got braids, including me. <laughs> every every person on the other team is getting braids. Like everybody's getting a haircut. Like it, it's been dope. They actually set up like a little makeshift barbershop. Oh yeah, in like, two days. It was wild. Like it, they put it up. It has TVs. It has you know air conditioning, barbershop, everything you need. So. They hit they, they that up part. Like, it's dope for us, so I'm happy for that. What are you keeping the braids tight up there right now? For sure, man. For <laughs> sure. I just woke up, and I'm just like, I can't. I just got done like a couple days ago. I can't have messed up day two. Yeah. Really <laughs> I got to keep them fresh. Especially when there's literally no excuse because there's nobody around you most of the time. No, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't have those dusty-looking braids. <laughs> just, no, I can't. I can't. I can't wait to download the T. Ross podcast. I am so excited that you joined us, man. You're fucking awesome. Thank you, man. This show's amazing. I listen to it all the time on the way to practice. Hey. 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 My God! Hey. You and the guys, yeah. Hey, I'm we're gonna we're gonna send you some shit. We'll get your address somehow. We'll figure it out. We'll send down an yeah, entire sure. care package for uh, for the yeah. for the lifestyle that I could not do. I'm yeah. happy you are though. <laughs> Starting tonight, we got NBA back. From the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, potential sixth man of the year, absolute stud for the Magic in his eighth year, former eighth overall pick from the University of Washington, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Can't wait to see the braids, man. Can't wait to see them.
Got you guys. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Yes, sir. Well, he was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I would fucking run through a wall. Dude. Uh, <laughs> dude, I was in a what? Yesterday, I was in a hotel. I was doing Bruce Lee spinning kicks <laughs> on a pillow. I just can't do it. I can't do it. He said they're allowed to move, but then you got to check in everywhere, which I assume becomes a bit of a hassle. But if you want to get out of uh, that room, you're probably going to have to. And once again, we are not a show that's like making an excuse for these professional athletes who get paid a lot of money to do it. But if you think about them as humans, you know, which is kind of hard to do sometimes for people, it'd be like, yo, that fucking life would be insane. Now, granted, they have go gone in there and been there for a while so for some teams there's potential exit here soon you see a light at the end of the tunnel but for some of those teams that are trying to make a run yeah they're not even into the meat of that thing yet they are still locked down and i would assume lebron's room looks a lot different than t ross <laughs> yeah. but, but it's still the same type of stuff could you imagine what the bill's gonna be when they check out three i months can't from now? believe they're making those guys pay for that unbelievable i didn't they don't have any other options it's a monopoly so so what happened there is the nba was like hey we'll do this thing down there and by the way every meal the guys will pay for so your kitchen everything you guys will just be able to collect money hand over fist so even though you're paying us that money will come back quick have you seen these guys are six eight six nine one of those burgers that ain't fucking enough they're gonna order 10 of them and guess what we'll put them in one time whenever they can't eat till five so everybody will be dead fucking hungry and they'll order everything on your thing every single night get the chefs ready and we're just gonna rake it in i that was wild 40 dollar coffee 26 dollars. <laughs> can't order anything either so oh, five that's wild oh my we just learned a lot. Did we just do some real journalism? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We uncovered a lot from the bubble it's day. Bubble day, baby.